Well, here we are. We're on the verge of three big Group 1 race nights coming through over the next couple of weeks at Albion Park. And we're here talking all things Albion Park harness racing with the Creek Catch-Up. We provide this news each and every week and we are set for a fantastic night this Saturday night, the first of 10 races at 5.15. There's two Group 1 features staged this Saturday night. The big one is the Aqua Constructions Rising Sun. And we've got a bookmaker on course. Ben Cray was fielding there last Saturday night. He's back again, and he's going to be fielding across the four big nights in July. So if you fancy a flutter with the bookie, Ben Cray is fielding. Tab are also operating as per normal at Albion Park, and they've come to the party with a big first four jackpot on the Tab Rising Sun, or the Aqua Constructions Rising Sun. There's a first four jackpot of $50,000, so that pool is expected to exceed $200,000 and what a race that is going to be. We had the barrier draw on Monday night at the Grove Rooftop Bar in the Brisbane City and it's probably thrown up more answers or more questions than answers. It's an intriguing race. Front row loaded with speed. A couple of key runners drawing awkwardly including Better Eclipse, the fastest ever Chariots of Fire winner. He's got to overcome the outside of the second row. Is he good enough to do it? Favourite, it's the star Victorian mare, Ladies in Red, for the first time going up against male paces. Last year, the inaugural edition of the Rising Sun went the way of the mare, Amazing Dream. Can we have it two years in a row? Is she good enough to do it? 22 starts, 18 wins, 4 seconds. She's a 5 times Group 1 winner. Amazing Dream, though, when she attacked the, uh, the Rising Sun last year, she had 7 Group 1 wins before uh, against her name before going into that race. So it's going to be very interesting. She is the favourite with Tab right now, ladies in red, and they are expected to arrive early hours Friday morning, both uh, ladies in red and beyond the light. And their other stable mate, Majita, who's going to go around in the mayor's feature, the Cobbity Equine Farms, Fleur de Lille Ladyship Stakes. So this is going to be a very, very good race. Don't forget, if you can't make a trackside on Saturday night, extended Sky Racing active coverage, and also Channel 7 coverage as well. Not just on selected races, all night long. So it pays to be involved if you can't make a trackside, tuning into either Sky Racing Active or Channel 7. So that coverage is certainly going to be there on Saturday night. So we look forward to that. Uh, better Eclipse, just on him, he trialled between races on Tuesday for Greg Sugars. He won that trial. He beat the star three-year-old, the local three-year-old, Teddy Disco, and his stable mate, Triple uh, Eight, who's starting in the free-for-all, he finished a nice third. So it was a really good trial there. Better Eclipse, though, facing a big challenge, looking to overcome the outside of the second row. The other big Group 1 feature, the Stallions Australasia, Daryl Alexander Trotting Championship Series Final. We've had heats over the past couple of weeks. Some are saying this series this year, not as strong as last year. Remembering last year, Pink Galahs, the tiny little Victorian mare for Maddie Craven, proved too good. It looks very open this final on Saturday night. Can a local repel the interstate invaders? Representing uh, New South Wales and Victoria, we've got plenty of local talent there. Riley Moments right in the mix, Global Flight, number of others, Majestic Harry, and uh, the list goes on. So it's a very good race, that trotting feature on Saturday night. Some of the other features, Group 3 events, the Gold Coast Turf Club, Mr. Feelgood Open. What a race this is. Great to have the Gold Coast Turf Club on board as a sponsor. Spirit of St. Louis, he's gone bang bang so far, taking out the Lucky Creed. The Wandai's made open last week. Again, he draws nicely. Again, Jack Kelligan takes the drive, and he is the favourite with Tab right now. So can he do it? It's going to be very interesting. From a punter's perspective, this has been a kind race for punters. Uh, four of the last six editions of the Mr. Feelgood have gone the way of the favourite and also, if you're keen on Spirit of St. Louis, Comedy Equine Farms have won the past two editions. Last year, King of Swing, two years ago, it was Cruz. Can they do it again? And speaking of Comedy Equine Farm, the Fleur de Lille Ladyship Stakes, the Mayor's Feature, this is going to be a ripper. Majita having her first start at Albion Park, taking on the likes of moments like these, the Queensland Oaks winner from last year, the Honey Queen who's in super form, and the reigning Queensland Horse of the Year, Gerardas Delight, drawn the inside of the second row. So that promises to be an absolute ripper on Saturday night. And just speaking of Cobbity Equine Farms, don't be surprised if there's more news as far as their stallion list is concerned. They might be standing some trotters and there might be some trotters standing here in their Queensland operation. As we know, Bling It On is set to stand in Queensland later this year. Just on the calendar uh, format uh, for the upcoming carnival, don't forget uh, Thursday, July 21, we've got the big Calcutta for the Tab Blacks of Bake across the road at the Brecky Creek Hotel. 
uh, our man Greg O'Connor, who has touched down safely in Brisbane. He's going to be the uh, MC with the most there on that Thursday night. A lot of fun. Tickets are available. Contact the club, Scott or Kate. $10 per ticket. You can buy as many as you like. And as far as entry is concerned for the Tab to Calcutta, Blacks are fake night. It's free. You don't have to pay. You just got to buy your tickets. $10 per ticket. And that is going to be a lot of fun that night. So we look forward to that Thursday, July 21. The big race itself coming through on July 23. That is all the news for the Creek Catch-Up. We'll see you trackside. 10 races on Saturday night. A big night coming through. Our first of 10 at 5.15.